Today we're at Heat Smart Plus showroom with the Sabre Grill. The Sabre Grill is a uh, stainless steel grill, high grade stainless steel grill that is uh, incredible for cooking on. It has some unique features like number one it'll get up to 700 degrees in 10 minutes or less so cooking in the winter time is not an issue. A lot of grills have a hard time uh, achieving 400 degrees, especially in the winter time. They have a hard time uh, maintaining that kind of temperature. So we can get good temperatures for searing your steaks and your whatever you're going to be uh, cooking on here. Great cooking temperatures. Matter of fact, it burns hot enough that most of the time you'll actually cook on a low temperature. The Sabre grills have some unique features such as three individual cooking areas and they're actually divided off right down to the bottom of the uh, burn. Um, element. That way we have different temperatures for each zone, whether it be a two burner or a three burner or a four burner. The, uh, it is an infrared cooking grill. And we're going to go over the uh, grilling surfaces here and uh, show you a little bit about it. Ten year warranty on the cooking surface, great. Um, it has the U channels underneath that the heat comes up from below into this U channel and gives you beautiful searing marks. The heat deflector also stainless steel. You'll notice it has a series of holes right along the length of it with channels in between the holes. Of course the heat comes up from your element below and uh, up through these holes so we get the same temperature throughout the whole grill. No cold spots or hot spots, even, te even cooking right through it. Down here below you'll see how it's divided off with the, uh, each separate compartments. That's nice that say you wanted to uh, just cook on one section of the grill. You only have to light up the uh, one section and cook here and leave these sides uh, cooler and not burning. Or uh, maybe you want to uh, smoke some ribs. You would uh, burn one side and put your food over on this side so you get that nice smoke flavor. The uh, other thing we should mention, these troughs here in between the uh, inlets for the heat catch all your drippings, your grease is caught in here and it keeps getting re-vaporized back into your food. Rather than dropping down into the bottom of the stove and igniting, it is uh, re-vaporized into your food for optimal flavor. It's an infrared cooking grill, so it's not a direct flame cooker. The uh, advantage of that is we're not drying out the food. Your food is going to be juicy, tender, most flavorful because it's not direct flame cooking. You'll notice some of the bigger, more expensive grills will have infrared maybe on the sides. You don't need it with this unit. It's going to be able to, you can set a chicken, for example, or a turkey right on the grilling surface here. It will cook very nicely without requiring rotisserie or turning it. Chance of flare-ups is greatly reduced with this cooking surface. As a matter of fact, we've actually wrapped chicken legs in bacon and cooked them right on the surface with no flare-ups. We've actually even went to the extreme of actually grilling bacon strips right on the surface. So this here uh, Sabre grill actually comes with a light kit. So if you're grilling at night, you want to have some lights, you certainly could have it on the one. What differs this particular model from the cast aluminum side one is that it's stainless steel sides. The cooking surface is exactly the same. It has the light feature and the element is actually a double burner element. So it's a high output double burner element versus a single burner element and cast aluminum sides. We want to talk about the stainless steel that this Sabre grill is made with. It's a high quality 304 stainless steel. It's going to give you a lifetime of looking good and no corrosion. We're actually going to do a simple little magnet test. The good grades of stainless steel, the magnet won't stick to. The lesser grades of stainless steel that are going to corrode and rust and give you issues um, after a couple of years, the magnet is going to stick to. So here we have the Sabre grill that's the magnet on. It doesn't stick anywhere. The uh, different grades of stainless steel. more magnetic it is, the more impurities is in the stainless steel. So the magnet would stick to it. This grill, the exposed outer stainless steel, is non-magnetic. And the outer surfaces, the magnet does not stick. Let's go and show on another grill with lesser quality stainless steel how the magnet sticks to it. This is another uh, brand of grills that is not, they sell it as a stainless steel grill, but it's not the same grade of stainless steel. It's evident by the magnet. 
the magnet uh, sticks to it, you know, very, uh, all the stainless steel, the magnet sticks to. Versus the Sabre Grill, which is a good grade of 304 stainless steel, we just showed the magnet does not stick to. It's had one short season in the campground. We uh, bought it home, and uh, just from riding the back of the truck, you know, the screws fell out, the wheel fell off, door fell off. Um, they're just screwed together versus being bolted together like a good Sabre Grill is. This is a pretty common and typical grills big box store grills is that they'll be very open in the back and it's because of the hinge door opening it was just easier to cut out a piece. The problem with that is a lot of your uh, flavor is escaping out there, a lot of your heat is escaping out. It will also show that the uh, back end is not uh, closed in like the Sabre grill is which adds a lot of strength to it. This is screwed together. The coaster, the wheels are inferior, they're a lot smaller back of the grill. Again, it's done to facilitate opening the door, but it allows, uh, opening the lid, I should say, but it allows a lot of the heat to escape out the back, less efficiency and other issues. Okay, here we have the back end of the Sabre grill. You see that it's all closed in and vented. Um, the, uh, even that is a good grade of stainless steel. It doesn't, uh, magnet doesn't stick to. But if you look at how the lid opens, it actually lends itself well to sealing off on the top here. We're not losing all that heat and flavor and moisture out of the grill. We're keeping it in the grill longer for maximum flavor cooking. The top part comes already pre-assembled. It just takes two people to set it on the top and you add your side element and your side shelf. Heavily constructed uh, side shelves and side element. It's bolted together with quarter inch stainless steel bolts, not screwed together, so very sturdy construction. So you assemble the bottom section, set the top on, assembly is very quick, half an hour you should be able to assemble it. The sides are actually attached good enough that you can actually lift the barbecue with the sides without fear of them falling off. Sabre Grill is an award winning grill, it's won a 2012 Vista Award um, for Hearth and Home. So uh, that's a award that goes to new innovative products in the marketplace.